So it had been a while since I used LVM commands like PV resize, LV resize, PV display on a Red Hat box when I changed the size of the underlying disk. In this particular case, I had a VM uh, with a 64 gig disk and I needed to increase it to 128. So I went into the Azure console and did that. Um, and then because the disk is under logical volume management, you have to come back into the operating system and run some commands to actually realize the new size. So you can see over here, I have this disk and the size is currently 128, but it used to be 64 because I went into the console and just changed it to 128. But the operating system is still showing the 64 gig size. So that's what we're gonna do is run some commands to to fix that. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at current state. So if we do a df command and look at the root volume group and the root logical volume group, um, we can see the current size. We'll come back to those values later, um, but in order to make the change we want to use parted. But first we want to see what parted is telling us about SDA and it's telling us that not all of the space available appears to be used, so that's what we need to fix. And we can uh, type fix here, and it will do something. I'm not entirely sure what it does, but at least it's showing me that um, the disk is 137, which is the size we expect, and it shows me my partitions. It's GPT, um, uh, G parted, I believe is what that is. And you can see though that uh, number two is still at the old size, the small size. So that's what we got to fix. And it's under logical volume management. So we're going to go into parted and we're going to resize that. So resize part, part two and give it the new size of maybe just underneath the full size. So let's say 137 gigs. Um, so we just resized it and we quit out of there. We don't need to update SFS tab, but we want to run that parted command again, and now we see that partition number two is showing the new size of the larger size, which is what we want. And if we do a PV display, we can see that the PV, so the physical volume size, is still the old small size. So we need to get that to show the new size, and we're going to use PV resize for that. So we pick uh, dev SDA2 and um, and we resize it. So now if we run that PV display again, we should see the PV size showing the new larger size. And we do. Now it's not exact because of rounding and things like that, but um, that's the new size. So now we want to resize the logical volume. And the logical volume is that root volume. And we want to use 100% of the free space going to the mapper to the root volume group and the root um, logical volume. So if we run this uh, command, if you remember, our old sizes were, were up here. Um, we're going to run this command and then run that DF again and see the new sizes. So our data blocks changed from, you know, half a million to, uh, I guess that's about 22 million. So we run that DF again and we can see we now have tons of free space on the root logical volume when you compare that to what we originally had. So. I hope this helps. It took me uh, longer than it should have um, to uh, find these commands just due to the fact that uh, I hadn't done this for a while. But for those of you that are resizing your underlying disk uh, with LVM, um, usually in a Red Hat environment, but could be other operating systems, this is how you do it. Um, so I hope this helps and thanks for watching.